we are now going to look at um, the spermatophytes, which are vasicular plants that reproduce by means of seeds. We say that uh, the plant kingdom is divided into two divisions organisms that have a vasicular system and organisms that do not have a vasicular system and organisms with a vasicular system we place them into a division of trachophyta and those ones without a vasicular system we place them into the bryophytes now you'll find that we said also that the vasicular system organisms are further subdivided into two groups. The group which reproduces itself by means of spores, which we refer to as the predophytes, and then the group which reproduces itself by means of seeds, which we are referring to as the spermatophytes. Now we want to look at the spermatophytes. The spermatophyta are vasicular plants. They are plants that have the xylem and also the phloem. They are plants that reproduce themselves by means of seeds. That implies that they have seeds and therefore they are spermatophytes. Now you'll find that the spermatophytes again also they are further subdivided. Remember they are vasicular plants, they have both the vasicular system, the xylem and the vasicular system the flowing and secondly they reproduce themselves by use of seeds but now still the spermatophytes we further go and subdivide them the subdivisions that we have in the spermatophytes are two there are those organisms which do not possess flowers and then there are those organisms that possess flowers. Organisms that do not possess flowers, we group them into a group called gymnosperm. Gymnosperm. And those organisms that have flowers, we group them into the group called angiosperms. Remember, they are all spermatophytes. But we are grouping the spermatophytes into gymnosperms and the angiosperms. Gymnosperms is a group which does not have flowers. And angiosperm is a group which possesses flowers. So, first we are going to look at the group which does not have flowers, which is the gymnosperms. Gymnosperms is mainly made up of conifers, cinder plants, cypresses, pine, fir, and many others. These ones have seeds and they have the fascicular system, which is the Froem and Asylum. But they do not have flowers. Despite the fact that they have seeds. Their reproduction is by seeds. But they do not have flowers. That means that their seeds are naked. Their seeds are not covered in the ovary. 
because most of the seeds are covered in ovaries, that is for the angiosperms. But for the gymnosperms, the seeds are in cones. They are not covered in the ovary. Neither do we find them in the fruits. Another characteristic of the gymnosperm is that their leaves are needle-shaped. They have leaves which are just needle-shaped. That looks like needles. But they are plants with the true roots, stems, and the stem has scales. They are fascicular plants. We have said that the spermatophytes, which are plants that reproduce themselves by means of seeds, are divided into two groups. A group of organisms that do not have flowers and a group of organisms that have flowers. And a group of organisms that do not have flowers, we have called them the gymnosperms. And a group of organisms that have flower, we have called them the angiosperms. And we have said that the gymnosperms, which includes the suppresses, the conifers, the cinders, the pine, and the fir, and many others, do not have flowers, but they have seeds. And we have seen that their seeds are naked. They are not enclosed in the ovary. And when you look at the shape of their leaves, they appear as needles. But they are vasicular plants with a true roots and true stem which has scales so next time we shall look at the organisms or plants that have flowers which we call the angiosperms but they also fall 